एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे वेलकम टू ग्लैम को इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन टुडेस रिव्यू वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट दीज अमेजिंग परफ्यूम्स दैट आई पिक्ड अप फ्रॉम बाय साक हैव यू यूज्ड देयर परफ्यूम्स इफ यू हैव नॉट यूज्ड डू स्टे ट्यून्ड इन टू सी व्हाट्स माय थॉट्स एंड रिव्यूज अबाउट द सेल Now I picked up two perfumes from Baisak. The first one is called as Chasing Stars and this one is called as Rise and Shine. Now both these perfumes come in a 100 ml packaging in a glass packaging like this. I must say that the packaging is pretty classy and pretty good. Almost matches the international standards I must say. And also from a price perspective, right? I think it's priced at about thousand nine hundred and ninety nine or something on their website. But they do keep going on offers from time to time. Baisa keeps coming up with offers, very lucrative ones. So you can pick up their products during their offer season also. And I think I picked up these perfumes when they were running their buy one get one offer. So it does come pretty handy. I mean, from a price perspective, it's not very pricey if you want to pick up the Baisa products, especially these perfumes. The quantity. that you're getting is also 100 ml so it's a good price first up let me talk about their chasing stars perfume now the brand calls this as a perfume with bold notes right something that confident women can wear boldly and carry themselves off from a packaging perspective the brand sent the perfume in a box like this box packaging uh, just that if you want to keep it in the box intact like this then this is going to consume a lot of space in your vanity the perfume is inside this actually something like this so um the fragrance notes in this one is that of tuberose patchouli and vetiver now the brand hasn't clearly mentioned top notes middle notes and base notes like usually the brands mention it right baisak hasn't mentioned the notes clearly but they've mentioned that this is a mesmerizing blend of tuberose patchouli and vetiver now let me quickly spray this on and let you know how this smells Yeah, it's a very nice fragrance. I must say that Chasing Stars is a good perfume. It has a very nice alluring scent and something that we don't see in Indian perfume brands, right? It's very different actually. So, I quite like it. It's a floral fragrance and uh, very mild also so you can wear this for your everyday outings as well as even for your cocktail parties and everything you can carry this off because it's a very nice floral feminine fragrance as per me although patchouli is a strong fragrance and a lot of people don't like patchouli fragrance too but i personally like patchouli fragrance and i am getting the notes of patchouli from this right so i kind of gravitate towards this fragrance the fragrance does stay put I must say that I do get the notes from this fragrance for about 2 to 3 hours but not beyond that you will have to keep respraying this if you want the notes to stay right especially in the scorching summers etc this will not stay long but um it's a good scent and you can keep respraying because anyway it comes in a 100 ml packaging so you can use it for good enough time I must say that this is a good fragrance especially at this price point Next up let me talk about their Rise and Shine perfume which I picked up. Now the brand calls this as a summer getaway. So if you're going out to a beachy place or something like that then Rise and Shine can be a good perfume to wear, right? Because it has citrusy and violet leaves notes in it.
um, when I saw the description, right, I was pretty excited to pick this perfume up because I usually gravitate towards citrusy and lime kind of notes also in my fragrances. So I uh, was excited to pick this one up. So let me just spray this on as well and see how this smells, right? Somehow from this perfume, I don't seem to be getting a lot of citrusy notes. At least it's not standing out. The notes of this is very different, very different from what I imagined or thought I will get, right? So am I very happy with this perfume? The answer may be, you know, I'm in between. It's a mixed response. I'm not very sure that this is the perfume I wanted to pick up. And it's also not very fresh smelling notes according to me. If you're someone like me who likes very fresh notes, then I'm not sure you're going to like this one. From a packaging perspective, again, it's got this aquatic blue and these amazing, you know, lime and blue kind of packaging, beautiful packaging. I love this one. There is no doubt about it. But the fragrance itself has been a letdown for me. I'm not very happy with the Rise and Shine range. In fact, I've reviewed their body lotion and char gel as well. I do feel that that entire range is slightly, uh, it needs a better formulation as per me. So um, this one, according to me, is not as good as the Chasing Stars one. So that's about it, guys. I hope you liked my little review of the Bysack perfumes that I picked up recently. If you liked my review, you know what to do. Do hit the like button, do subscribe to my channel and do keep coming back to Glamco for many more interesting content like this. Thanks again and bye.